Aloha everyone, we are Team Hokulele and today we'll be presenting our 2020 to 2021 project. Team Hokulele is the University of Hawaii's first high-powered rocketry-based vertically integrated project and senior design team. This summer we plan to launch our first two-stage rocket, which will carry an inert camera payload and a radio control rover payload in the 30,000 foot category at the FAR 1030 competition on June 5th. Since last semester, we have begun testing and construction of the fins, payload, and other structural components which will be complete by the end of this semester. The team has been organized as shown in this diagram, and the VIP team includes Leo Toma, Kyler Okura, Matthew Young, Felicia Suela, Efren Enriquez, Kawaiki Punoa, Carter Bell, Ryan Fujimoto, and Shang Jie Wu. The rocket is first prepared for launch on the launch pad. Once ignited, the rocket takes flight until the stage 1 motor burns out and drag separates, which causes the first stage to deploy a parachute while the stage 2 motor ignites. Once the stage 2 motor burns out, apogee is reached and the avionics trigger the deployment of the drogue parachute. Once the rocket reaches 1500 feet, the avionics trigger deployment of the main parachute, which ejects the payload canister. The rocket continues to descend under the main and drogue parachute. The payload canister will open when it reaches ground level, and the rover will deploy and travel at least 10 feet. Here we have a functional flow block diagram which illustrates the relationship between various components in a subsystem and the relationships between various subsystems as a whole. Here's our design of our 2020 to 2021 two-stage rocket. The top picture shows the overall design and dimensions of the rocket, while the bottom picture shows the rocket on the program Open Rocket, which was utilized to design the rocket and simulate the flight of the rocket. For propulsion, we've decided to use the N3300R motor for both Stage 1 and Stage 2 to allow our rocket to reach an apogee of 30,000 feet. Using the Open Rocket simulation with the weather parameters at the far site, the rocket is projected to reach an apogee of 28,500 feet in 47 seconds. This year's fins are a clip delta design with a 45 degree chamfer at the leading and trailing edges. The chamfer creates a double diamond cross section which allows the fins to be more aerodynamic. The figure on the left shows a console simulation of the temperatures the fins will encounter during flight. This year we decided to incorporate a parachute reefing panel to reduce the opening shock that the parachute generates upon deployment. The slider will cause a slight delay in parachute inflation as it moves down the suspension lines and will rest at the base of the parachute, causing an increase in drag and lower descent rate. One of the payloads that the rocket will be carrying is an inner camera array, which will consist of two cameras, one to transmit live footage and one to document the entire flight process. The rover is a two-wheeled model capable of traveling a distance away from the landing site while transmitting live camera footage and RC controls to and from the ground station. The rover will be controlled by a PS2 controller connected to the transmitter that relays directional input to the Adafruit Feather microcontroller on the rover that manages the wheels. The rover will be deployed with a treasure chest method where the capsule will open as a hatch. The hatch will only open after the payload is landed and the altimeter reads an altitude within the range of the initial altimeter reading. Once this requirement has been met, the actuators will activate, opening the hatch as seen in the image on the right. These components of the rocket were manufactured in the spring of 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic. The body and motor tubes are made of a filament wound fiberglass composite, while the nose is made of a wound fiberglass transition and fitted with a 1018 steel tip. A threaded rod and wooden bulkhead are used for internal support and house an adjustable ballast. The fins were 3D printed using ABS material, then layered with carbon fiber. Both materials are lightweight and can withstand the forces and temperatures encountered during flight. Two sheets of carbon fiber was laid on top of the fin and epoxy resin was applied. This was followed by peel ply and breather fabric. The fin was then vacuum bagged and cured overnight. After the curing process, a bend test was conducted using a through wall fixture. The images on the left are the components of the payload deployment canister. The canister body is made of a fiberglass cylinder with a sidewall cut out. The sidewall will be hinged back to the body to act as a chest door. The circular wooden discs are marine plywood bulkheads that will be epoxied to both ends of the main body. The images on the right are the result 
of a two meter high drop test. The damage from the test was analyzed and used to help update the rover design as seen in slide 10. In conclusion, our goals for this year are for Team Hokulele to compete at the Friends of Amateur Rocketry competition to test our two-stage rocket. This rocket will carry two payloads, a camera array and a rover. This competition will also provide students with networking opportunities with industry professionals, and we hope that Team Hokulele will serve as an introduction to the field of aerospace. On the behalf of Team Hokulele, we thank you for listening.